Right, we want to take you back to a top story that we are following up for you this afternoon. And the Salaries and Remuneration Commission has maintained that the teachers' pay demand as granted by the industrial court is not affordable to the country. SRC, who this morning had a breakfast meeting with professional associations, further stated that the commission has already harmonized all the public workers' salaries. The, commission's, uh, uh, the commissioners rather say that if the teachers' uh, salaries are increased as demanded, then as per their mandate, they would have to harmonize the entire public service wages afresh, and this would lead to a wage bill that cannot be sustained. We now have our Sharon Mamani, who's joining us from our city centre studio, for an update of, on that. Sharon, thank you very much for staying put. Apart from the teachers' uh, salaries issue, did the SRC talk about any other issue uh, in, in regard to the uh, public officers' uh, yes. uh, salaries? Yes, Betty. Uh, basically, the meeting that they had with uh, uh, officials in professional associations, uh, the SRC was basically trying to validate their mandate uh, when on the cause of the teacher strike, which has really now spiraled into a crisis. There have been calls from b various sections to, you know, all together withdraw and eliminate the uh, salaries, salaries and remuneration commission, with some people saying that it's actually a toothless dog, saying that it's actually just targeting um, civil servants who are really adding small salaries and cannot defend themselves. So during this meeting they were actually just taking the professional associations through the journey of what they've been doing since the formation of the SRC and they say that they have actually uh, efficiently they say harmonized the salaries of all public service officials they say that in 2012 they actually managed to realign all the jobs and salaries of civil servants across uh, different parastatals and public offices they say there were actually some offices giving some examples of the marine offices that were actually actually earning beyond the wage minimum and saying that um Actually, just to paraphrase what the, the salaries and the SRC chair, Sarah Serem, was saying is that it would appear that the teachers are actually a very vocal arm of the public service and maybe that's why their case has really uh, earned a lot of public sympathy and all that, but says that uh, across the public service, the, the, harmoni the salaries are actually harmonized. But of course, this brings across the questions, Betty, such as, if indeed, if actually the salaries of uh, across the public service are low and uh, workers saying that they're overworked and underpaid, then should they, is it prudent to use uh, this kind of uh, saying that all salaries are harmonized if all of them are actually earning uh, not what they deserve? So basically just validating the mandate there, Betty. Uh, Sharon, maybe just to divert a little bit from uh, mm -hmm. uh, what you're talking about, but uh, mm -hmm. did, did they talk about uh, the issue in regard to uh, the motion by Ababu Namwamba to have, mm -hmm. you know, the pay cut, a 50% mm -hmm. pay cut uh, yes. for public officers, mm -hmm. state officers? Uh, what they said, Betty, is that this is an individual call and it is not their mandate to ask individuals to have their salaries, which they have uh, officially regulated and endorsed to be fair, and ask these officials to then have a pay cut. But they say that there is a kitty that has been set aside for those particular individuals who want to take a pay cut. You understand that some time back, the officials who came forward, including the president himself, saying that he was going to take a pay cut and urging other officials to take the step. So there is a special kitty, the SRC says, that has been set aside to, uh, you know, take up such pay cuts that are individually given by public officials, but that is not a directive from the SRC, they say. Finally, um, going back to the teachers' uh, mm -hmm. uh, pay issue, you know, yesterday Wilson Sosion came out strong and mm -hmm. said, you know, constitutionally, mm -hmm. SRC should not dictate, you know, if the teachers should get a pay rise or not. Mm -hmm. It's the mandate of the TSC. Mm -hmm. did, did they say anything about uh, this particular uh, comment by Wilson mm -hmm. Sosion? Uh, you understand, Betty, that uh, during the ruling by the Industrial Court Judge Ndumanderi, mm -hmm. uh, the judge ruled that uh, the TSC has that mandate to regulate the salaries as the teacher's uh, employer. Now, the SRC has been scutting around the issue, not giving really a direct um, answer on what their role, particularly with regard to the teacher's salaries, is. But if the court ruling is anything to go by, but largely none of the ruling has been uh, taken up uh, 
by now, then it should uh, lie by the TRC. Uh, that is according to the court ruling.